good day all. It's a fog bound morning and me and uh, two of my new little chums are out enjoying the morning. Though I have six chicks, I have only two with me because it's about how many I can hold and let them snuggle close to me to keep warm. Oops, I've just scared the gulls out from their breakfasts. Little do my little tame chums know that their wild bird cousins have to forage about for their breakfasts, whilst these two and their four other little chums are hand-fed breakfasts in front of fireplace. I've been trying to hold them as much as possible so that they stay tame, because though I've got, I have 13 full-size hens, which are tame in the sense that they come to me when I feed them of a morning, but they're really meant to be egg producers, which they are. And there you can see the pair of geese going out to sea. But I just wanted to start today's vlog with this uh, fog-bound morning. Algernon's having his breakfasts. The sea is, I love it when it's fogged like this because you can't really see the distance. And my uh, full-size hands are calling out from their house waiting for their breakfast. So the chicks and I are going to go back to our fire, enjoy it just a bit more until the fog burns off and start our day. Springtime, Cape Cod. Well, the fog is clear cleared somewhat and turned to rain, and we're getting heavy rain. We're meant to have a few days of rain, but I like it like this when there's no wind and the rain's falling. I'm not sure if you can see how the sea is alive with the, besides the tide and the waves. Can you see the little pattern of raindrops on top? Hoping you can hear it. I'm in my studio. Uh, outside the new slider and I'm hoping the little porch overhang you can hear the rain hitting it it sounds lovely I daren't go outside because my camera lens will get wet but I have the door open and I'm just under the overhang but I thought uh, today's short little postcard blog will be I'm going to share another of my illustrated characters and I was thinking of um, New England again in this uh, and I haven't done an otter yet, so I was excited to do an otter. So here's this little fellow, and uh, this is the little kind of synopsis I jotted down in the edges of my uh, art journal. Bartholomew Cotton Esquire stood stock still as he was having his photo made. He'd been informed that he must go to the studio of the photographer now standing in his Lewisburg Square drawing room. He'd have none of it. No silly painted canvas Roman ruins, nor busts made from plaster of Paris for me, he told his valet. He'll have to come to me. I am, you see, a simple man. And as Bartholomew Cotton bid, so it came to pass. The photographer and his assistant trudged their equipment through narrow brick and cobbled roads from questionable addresses in the South End to the subdued brownstone on Beacon Hill. I'm a simple man, and standing by my simple tiger maple secretary will do me just fine. I've no need for all the frills, said Bartholomew, though his simple tiger maple secretary had been made when the colonies were young and handed down to him. His puritanical mind gave that he was simple and unadorned, but his Lewisburg brownstone and countless acres scattered all over the city and into the countryside told another story. Bartholomew Cotton Esquire was, if one asked him, a simple man. Well, I hope you like his little story. And uh, I have been sketching up more characters, thinking how uh, they can be the New England cousins. So I'm having fun with that. So I'm going to get back to my studio, do some more drawing, enjoy the rain, and until tomorrow's video, hope you get a moment to indulge in your own creative process or just enjoy watching the weather wherever you happen to be. Us. And uh, can you see Algernon? If I zoom just through the trees, can you see him out on his rock? Sitting quietly as the rain falls. 
Okay, until tomorrow's video, I hope you have a moment to indulge in your own passions. And as always, remember, stay creative. Cheers. Thank you.